Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, folks, it's Thanksgiving. Hope everybody's having a good time out there. I'm sure you had better than popcorn, pretzels, and jelly beans, but that's all right. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, what's going on with the Vols. Yep, our boy Jeremy Pruitt. Um, the Vols finally responded to the NCAA, and they said uh, Pruitt had deceived them. There was a Chick-fil-A bag involved and hundreds of dollar bills, of course, and uh, we're going to get all into Jeremy Pruitt, the NCAA, and all that crap. Now, I've always wondered what Jeremy Pruitt really looked like when he wore that uh, face covering, and I finally figured it out. <laughs> yep, Jeremy needed to phone home. <laughs> Yep, uh, UT finally uh, responded, and it says, uh, Jeremy Pruitt deceived us. Tennessee responds to the NCAA notice of allegations, and the university had disputed NCAA findings that it had failed to monitor the football program. They said that Pruitt, his wife, and his staff knowingly concealed their malfeasance despite UT's best efforts to follow NCAA rules. Said UT had minor disputes with five of the 18 violations that the NCAA found. Otherwise, it agreed generally that rules were broken and that almost $60,000 of cash or gifts were provided to the players and their families by Pruitt, his wife, and numerous coaches. Said UT argued that it was not in a violation of the most serious failure to monitor. And they said, and the university said it's unrealistic to expect an institution to prevent or immediately detect the intentional or concealed misconduct that occurred in this case. It said the NCAA alleged the level one violations, the most serious of the four tier system, were committed by Jeremy and his wife, assistant coaches, et cetera, an unnamed booster. It says the factual information that experienced football coaches and non coaching staff members knowingly violated long standing uh, rules. It says the record also supports the university monitored football recruiting visits in accordance with the industry standards. And then they argued that LSU was given uh, leniency for something uh, that was uh, just as bad. It says, despite the university's best efforts, multiple members of the football staff had uh, failed to comply. And now the NCAA has 60 days to reply to uh, the university's uh, response. And we know the Vols do not face a lack of institutional control allegation, but instead are charged with a failure to monitor, which is a lesser violation. And they dispute that as well. And the NCAA held Tennessee's uh, cooperation as exemplary cooperation in the investigation and should be the model for all others to follow. And they also have a new bylaw where uh, they're not going to punish uh, players or anyone that had nothing to do with this. So I think the thought process with the NCAA is to go after the coaches and the ones that violated, especially when the university completely complied and helped them in every way. Also, um, it's been reported that Jeremy Pruitt used a bag from Chick-fil-A, not a McDonald's bag, to give cash to players' families, the report reveals. Hamburglar! That's right! Uh-oh. Hamburglar! Said he used a Chick-fil-A bag to give several hundred dollars to a Tennessee football player's parents, according to the NCAA investigation. Says, according to Mike Wilson of the Knoxville News Sentinel, the Chick-fil-A bag of cash had about $300 in it given to the mother of a Tennessee player who was part of an alleged $12,000 unauthorized benefits to the player and the family. Per Wilson, it said another $3,000 was given to the mother to help with paying a delinquent medical bill so she could schedule a hip surgery, which was identified in the NCAA report. I don't have a real problem with that at all. As a matter of fact, I'm glad he did it. If she needed hip surgery and he had three grand, the guy was making, what, $4 million a year? You know what? So be it. It was like 60 grand total where it was the uh, amount that they handed out, which in today's NIL money is nothing, absolutely nothing. So look, yeah, they broke the rules and they've been heavily punished. He's been fired. He's going to get a show cause uh, put on him almost certainly. And so were the other coaches. And uh, there's going to be plenty of punishment uh, dealt out. But the biggest one is that he hadn't got paid. And there's about, I think, $12 million owed to him. And I don't think the Vols are going to pay him a penny unless they're forced to. So there's been plenty of punishment. Now, the NCAA has a new bylaw where they're not supposed to punish anybody that had nothing to do with this or any future uh, athletes. So I think the scholarship reduction and some other uh, penalties that the Vols self-imposed will probably suffice. And even if they take some more scholarships, with NIL money, it's not that big a deal. 
Also, the NCAA said that they were exemplary in how they handled this and that it should be the model that everyone should follow this point forward. So if you punish harshly a, a university that totally cooperated and did everything you asked or ever expected out of a, a university, then nobody's going to cooperate this point forward because what's the point? If you cooperate and do everything they ask and you hammer them anyway, everybody's going to hide. So they need to uh, show that, hey, when you do all the right things, you fire the coach, you do all the things you do, that that should be rewarded on some level. And obviously there's going to be some punishment, but they've already self-imposed, so I don't think it'll be anything serious. That's just my opinion. Because the reality is the Vols did not do this. That's right. They didn't act like there was nothing going on. They said, hey, we got a serious problem, and they dug into it. And I think given the momentum that the Vols have right now with uh, Josh Heupel, and of course we've got the game with Vanderbilt coming up Saturday, and if the defense will show up, and I think if Joe Milton will play a decent game, we'll be all right and get into a nice bowl and finish out this year in style after just really winning a bunch of huge games and getting tons of monkeys off our back with Alabama, Florida, LSU, Pittsburgh, the revenge game, and all down the line. Now, what I expect the NCAA to do is probably just a slap on the wrist. Four. <laughs> now, return to your seat. I love you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not expecting anything uh, significant to come out of this, and just they need to put it to bed over time. The NCAA loves to drag these things out forever, and that's pretty typical. But like I said, I feel pretty good about the uh, Vol situation and their stance. And if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's me know to continue to cover the Vols and the SEC and all the ons going and goings ons and you know, whatever the term is. Anyway, I hope you did like the content. Be sure to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I've only been doing this about four months. I could use some subscribers. And I hope you did enjoy the content. We'll see you next time on Sports Talk Jay.